Homeland Security's future home a former mental hospital? It seems quite uh, likely and relevant to me. St. Elizabeth's Hospital, a former mental health institution where the U.S. Department of Homeland Security is building a $400.5 billion, that's billion with a B, headquarters. It's the largest construction project in the District of Columbia since the Pentagon was constructed in 1943, or should I say completed in 1943. DHS will use many of the old hospital buildings on the 176-acre campus. So they have all these dungeons and torture camps and so forth over there. And also, if you're listening to Alex Jones' radio show today, you heard him say that many of the people affiliated with this institution in the past have ties to MK Ultra. You can look that up as well as the MK Ultra, the mind control uh, situations. And many of those scientists that were involved in that also had ties to that facility. So uh, why DHS chose this facility to conduct their operations, I don't know. But, you know, uh, they may need some mental health evaluations themselves. Now we'll move on to our final article of the night. Cop fired for speaking out against ticket and arrest quotas. Sergeant Neal started instructing me and my partner to arrest people that we didn't feel like it broke the law. Stay active this Saturday night. Right here in this uh, place of contact with the past in jail. Nice tickets and all that neat fun stuff that we signed up to do when we signed up for this job. So if you dare speak out to your masters about, you know, policies that are not legal and even legit in this case, you will be relieved of your duty, as is the case of this gentleman. And for more on that, we have an InfoWars special report. When you get pulled over, remember the police tell you that it's all for your safety. Well, the truth is out, and it's really not for your safety. In Auburn, police officer Justin Hanners and fellow officers were directed to hassle, ticket, or arrest specific numbers of residents per shift. And when he refused to comply and keep quiet, he was fired. It's not only Alabama. In Fairfax County, Virginia, the police department laid it out in black and white, and you too can view it for yourself in a memo available on the internet. Let's not leave out Texas. The Fort Worth Police Department likes black and white too, and has laid it out in memos that show some officers who are part of a program funded by a federal grant and administered by the state that says they must make at least four traffic stops an hour. When you get pulled over, know what to do. Go to the Alex Jones channel today and check out Eddie Craig's video, Secrets Police Don't Want You to Know. And go to prisonplanet.tv and sign up and give your username and password to up to 10 people. I'm Gigi Arnetta, and this is an InfoWars Nightly News Alert. And if you want to know more about that, the secrets that the police do not want you to know, you can go to YouTube.com on the Alex Jones channel, and you can see Eddie Craig, Air Force veteran and also former peace officer. He's going to tell you all the secrets. It's a very well-made documentary. It's about two hours long, a little over two hours, but it's definitely worth your time uh, for any type of situation, traffic stops, whatever kind of situation you may end up in. This is definitely the video that you need to watch. Now, we'll end now with our quote of the day. This is from Ronald Reagan. Concentrated power has always been the enemy of liberty. That by Ronald Reagan. Now stay tuned because right after this break we'll have a special report with Wayne Matson. This is a very in-depth interview. He talks about the TSA and how we're losing our liberties on a daily basis. But first, if you like this broadcast and you want to see it continue, go to prisonplanet.tv. Get yourself a 15-day free trial. You can get it all right there. The Alex Jones Radio Show, the Nightly News, the special reports, all that good stuff is right there. And even our movies such as State of Mind, which is also right there. You can see it right there on your screen. And it's also available in the InfoWars shop, State of Mind, the Psychology of Control. You can get it for $19.99, and also you can pay a few dollars more and get it on Blu-ray. It's an excellent film made by the same people who brought you A Noble Lie, the Oklahoma City film. So stay tuned, and we'll be back right after this break with Wayne Matson. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happens. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.